Yo, what is good YouTube? Richie Kim here. Today I'm going to be bringing you all a review on the LeBron 1 Air Zoom Generation in the King's Rook colorway. Before we get started, if you all can hit that subscribe button down below, I'd appreciate it a lot. But anyways, let's get right into it. As always guys, starting off with the box, just like the first LeBron retro that came out, it features the exact same Nike box. It's an orange box, except it is not the flip top Nike box. It is a pullout box. And on the front, you have your size tag, which says Air Zoom Generation QS. And then on the top, you have your big ass Nike logo, which is kind of like in a gloss color. And then on the sides, it's the same Nike logo, just not as big. Nothing too special with the box, so you know. I don't remember the exact date when these guys released. I, I, I'm i pretty sure it was sometime in December, maybe like December 20th, somewhere around there. But I picked these up from the Nike sneakers app, got them for retail, which is really nice. But this shoe is super, super sick in person. I have the white ones and now I have the black ones as well. And personally, I kind of like the way the black ones look better, especially on foot and in hand. I just think overall it's like a cleaner look aesthetically. So starting off with the toe box, it features pretty much the exact same stuff as the white pair. So around the toe box you have this toe guard, which is leather, but it's kind of like a harder leather. But it, what's nice about it is it does have this slight texture to it. Moving towards the toe box, you have your standard black leather, but it's softer than what's featured on the like toe guard. And you have your black Nike logo as well. Moving towards the middle part of the shoe, you're starting to get different material usage. So around some parts, like right here, it's leather, and the other parts is what feels like a mesh to me, but it's not like your standard mesh. It's definitely backed by something. What I'm trying to say is it doesn't feel incredibly cheap. Also on the side of the shoe, you have your Nike logo in white. It's actually a glossy white, and around the swoosh is a red border which really makes the swoosh pop out, especially because it is on a black background. Moving towards the tongue, you have your standard tongue and the shoe is a half booty. So it, the tongue is connected about halfway down through the shoe, but on the tongue, you have your leather material and you actually have your LeBron logo right here. And in red up at the top, it actually says LeBron as well. Now moving towards the back, you have your leather panels and mesh panels. And what I really like about the Air Zoom Generation is this part right here, which is a chrome, but what is supposed to happen is it, it's supposed to flake off and go into like the original red color, which is a really, really cool touch. Moving towards the bottom of the shoe, you do have your standard outsole. I'm not sure what kind of outsole it is. It could be Phylon, it may not be. That part, I'm not 100% sure, but I know what's inside of the shoe is there's actually some zoom units, I believe, in the forefoot and the heel. And let me tell you, you can actually feel the zoom units, which is really nice when you're just walking around. It's very, very comfortable. And the shoe overall itself is actually very lightweight, which it doesn't seem like it would be a very lightweight shoe, but it's not heavy at all. And then moving towards the bottom, you have your standard Air Zoom Generation outsole with your carbon fiber shank in the middle for torsional rigidity and support. Overall, I think the Air Zoom Generation is just a very clean silhouette. Overall, I think the Air Zoom Generation is a very clean silhouette and you can wear it pretty much with anything, especially this color. It's just a very clean shoe and I really, really enjoy it. That's pretty much it for the details, guys. So let's see what they look like on feet. That's pretty much it for this review guys. If you guys liked the video, hit that subscribe button down below and also smash that thumbs up button for me as it really does help me out. While you guys are at it, check out this video on my left and on my right and that's pretty much it. Until next time, peace.